dear students welcome to the online class i am dr ssc hiramat in this video you are going to study about the nernst heat theorem and its application to study the nernst heat theorem take gibbs helmholtz equation gibbs helmholtz equation that is delta g equal to delta h minus t minus t do delta g bracket do t total bracket at constant pressure suppose this is equation 1 in this equation this term is finite here do delta g divided by do t at the constant pressure is a finite term finite term at t equal to 0 k that is at absolute zero temperature should zero temperature then equation 1 becomes then equation 1 becomes delta g equal to delta h that is that is limit of delta g as t tends to zero is equal to limit of delta h as t tends to zero okay this is another form of the nernst heat theorem this the nernst heat theorem may be stated as heat theorem may be stated as stated as in a condenser system in a condenser system d do delta g divided by do t at constant pressure decreases with with decrease of temperature asymptotically and asymptotically and becomes equal to zero zero at t equal to zero k that is absolute zero temperature absolute zero temperature thus nernst heat
m must hit theorem mathematically stated as mathematically stated as limit t tends to 0 though delta g divided by do t at constant pressure at constant pressure is equal to limit t tends to 0 do delta h divided by do t at constant pressure is equal to 0. This is the mathematical statement, statement of nerfed heat theorem. So this is equation 3. Now about the applications of nerfed heat theorem, that is first one, in cryogenics to study the superconductors means at very low temperature to study the superconductors the nerfed equation is used. Second one, in the thermodynamics in the calculation of the absolute entropy of the substances. Third one, in the statistical mechanics that is in linking the microscopic and macroscopic thermodynamic properties. Then fourth one, in the chemical kinetics that is nerve heat theorem may be used in predicting the feasibility of the reactions at low temperature. Then fifth application is in material science to study about the phase transition under extreme conditions. Then sixth one is in quantum mechanics the nerve heat theorem may be used in understanding the quantum states of superconductors.